Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's Ryan from Gameloft, and I'm back with another episode of Gameloft Game Chats. Today I'm joined by the game director for Siegefall, Alex. What's going on, Alex? Hey, it's going well. Awesome, man. Well, thanks for joining me today. Uh, we wanted to take a minute to talk about the uh, first update for Siegefall. It's a big one, right? Yeah. Awesome. We got a lot of content. <laughs> well, hey, that's great. I know players have been uh, kind of eagerly awaiting the update, and we don't want to keep them waiting too much longer, so let's go ahead and dive into some of the uh, new content that I'm personally excited about, and I can't wait to hear your take on it. Um, yeah. One of the, the first things that stood out to me is Siegefall is getting a new hero called the Dragon Hunter. Can you uh, talk to us a little bit about that? Yes, uh, she's a new hero joining the lineup of heroes we have, and mm -hmm. she is a long-range hero. Uh, she's pretty useful to, and she's a DPS DPS hero, so she causes so a lot of damage. DPS. Yeah, exactly. Uh, her main weapon is a bow, and she's going to be using this bow for all of her abilities. Uh, mm -hmm. One of them being sort of a multi-shot uh, arrow shot that uh, causes damage to many buildings at once, so it's going to be pretty useful when you're pushing uh, oh, yeah. into the enemy defense. Mm -hmm. And the, her other ability allows the user to be uh, targeting precise building, and she's going to be throwing a piercing arrow that causes damage to everything in its way, and then explodes wow. when it gets to the actual building. Uh, so it's pretty good, and you can uh, you know, get rid of uh, high priority targets quite quickly with this. She has a couple of twists, uh, however, so mm -hmm. you can, you first you're going to be unlocking her when you are uh, keep level 5, so we want her to be available early on to uh, every player. Oh, sweet. Uh, That's really cool. But the twist is that you're going to need magic dust in order to summon mm -hmm. her when you need her. And uh, the reason for that is that uh, we noticed that a lot of people have been banking the magic dust for ultimate <laughs> cards, so now we're giving you more choices. Uh, and you know you gain the magic dust by you know different ways and one of the ways is by doing the events so uh, we're pretty excited about that and that's also why we sort of made her a bit strong mm -hmm. uh, because her of her cost so yeah uh, yeah it balances out but uh, she's super interesting very beautiful uh, we can't wait to see people play with her in the in our game that's awesome, yeah. I think I'm really excited. The multi shot's definitely appealing as somebody who likes to go in and kind of clear out a bunch of stuff all at once, so being able to damage multiple targets is, yeah, is exactly. really sweet. Yeah, exactly. This is something we noticed that was maybe lacking, so uh, mm -hmm. we're giving you more choices. Awesome. Well, hey, there you go. New battle tactics to consider. Yeah. So, and then this, uh, so the second thing I want to talk about, and I know is on pretty much every Siegefall player's mind, is, uh, is guilds. And so yes. we've got a, a, a new piece of, a new structure, I guess we'll say, that's coming into this update called the Guild Warship. And uh, it's going to kind of lead its way into the Guild system, and I'm kind of interested to hear your take on it and what players can expect for the guild, from the Guild Warship. Yeah, so exactly, like you said, like everyone is waiting for the guilds. <laughs> and we, like we said in the other Twitch uh, videos that we've made, uh, guilds are coming and they're mm -hmm. just about to come in. But in this update, what we're allowing you to do is to actually build the warship uh, nice. right away so that when the guilds are ready and out, you can have a head start and have a couple of perks uh, that comes with the guild warship. And by investing right now, you're basically mm -hmm. Uh, going to be having a head start when it is released and have all of those perks ready on day one. So yeah, it's wow. very exciting and uh, maybe I can tell you a few of, the, of those perks. Oh uh, yeah, let's we hear got, them. We got stuff like troops donation, so you're going to be able to donate and receive troops to your guildmates. Uh, we have a couple of things that are quite exciting for PvP, so uh, with the warship, if you're fighting another player, you're going to get a loot bonus and also medal bonus, so it should help you in the leaderboard and also to help you uh, building your kingdom with the loot, the extra loot that you're going to get. And one final thing that uh, we're going to add with the warship when it's released is a brand new hero that is going to be quite exciting, but I cannot say that much right now about him. So, okay, so a little yeah. teaser, so people definitely should be using any of their spare resources to pump it into the Guild Warship and get ready for even more awesome content for the next update. Yeah, exactly, and those are just like few perks that we're going to be adding, and, and there's going to be way more uh, when the actual guilds are released. That's awesome. Yeah. So um, when people are done pumping up their Guild Warship, uh, they can start beefing up their defenses, it sounds like, with this new update. I heard there's a new building coming called the Ancient Monolith. Could we yeah. uh, hear a little bit about what that defensive structure is going to help help with uh, when people are getting attacked? Yeah, so uh, we noticed that uh, early on in the game, people are having quite a hard time against trolls. 
specifically and mm -hmm. a couple of other uh, long range uh, units or yeah sort of the catapults for example or even queen nor so mm -hmm. this building comes already on in the game and it is a, basically a super long range uh, single target uh, beam that is like causing a lot of damage but has a sort of a recharge time mm -hmm. so it's not super fast but it causes a lot of damage and it allows you to place it in crucial places of your kingdom so that you can counter all the those sort of units that I was talking about. Uh, yeah, so it's a, an exciting new building that should be changing quite a lot the strategy early on wow. in the game. And yeah, you're, you're basically unlocking it uh, early, so mm -hmm. it's not a, a high level uh, building or a tower that you only high players are going to have. It's actually available for everyone early on to do those can nice. counter plays. So it should help you out in your defense. Very cool. So I guess with the introduction of the ancient monolith, that's obviously going to change some strategies. Is there any new um, kind of like uh, balancing that you guys have been working on to kind of accommodate for the changing of battle strategies and stuff like that? Yeah, exactly. So uh, since the beginning, we've been monitoring uh, a lot of things about the game. So we're reading a lot, everything that we can read about it. We're also mm -hmm. checking at the data. So we did notice a couple of things that should be changed. And this update comes with a ton of updates oh, and cool. fixes in order to rebalance everything out so it's it's t it remains fair creates variety uh, mm -hmm. in team composition and and also how you defend your kingdom so you know we've made things like uh, the trolls uh, we actually made them more costly to respond so they are as strong as before but you're not going to be able to respond them as quickly uh, mm -hmm. during the battle so it's sort of a trade-off the archers, we noticed a lot of people were using them and only them, and this is not really what we intended. We always wanted the archers to be like a, a strong damage unit, but sort of weak. So we, we made some adjustments and we also made it so that uh, they're not as strong uh, against walls. You know, it oh, doesn't. Interesting. Yeah, so uh, because you know, little arrows they bounce on the, <laughs> exactly, the walls. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, for that, so you're gonna have to sort of mix your army with maybe footmen and trolls so that they are supported. And we also made a couple of changes with the rogue. Mm -hmm. uh, those are very interesting now uh, because the rogues maybe they were not very used, but now they are gonna become a very interesting unit to uh, the target hyperity buildings. Uh, we not sense that in uh, you know when players get a stronger defense, mm -hmm. uh, it's hard to get near the high priority target. So with the rogues, because they are cloaked until they hit, uh, yeah. now uh, and we, we we buff them a little bit so that when they actually reach the target, there's a very good chance that you're gonna destroy it. Uh, so the rogues, we we made them stronger and all sort of other changes like uh, explosive barrels there are a lot more uh, that cause a lot more damage now nice. that's awesome um yeah there were the yeah a couple of things like that so obviously there's there's way many more uh balanced changes that we've made that i can't list right now so we're going to be providing the list of changes online when the, the update is actually uh, out oh sweet awesome so players can check it out probably on the forums and then also probably in the game's news feed and everything like that yeah, to see yeah, the yeah. change log. sweet awesome. exactly and like we said uh, our the update's probably going to be live in uh, in a day or two after this video goes up. So guys, make sure you keep an eye on the App Store or the Play Store to, to get your Siege Fall update as soon as you can. Yeah, it's going to be a big one. Awesome. And I guess finally, is there anything else that, you know, as the game director, you have this unprecedented look into what's coming for Siege Fall, especially with this update. Is there anything else that you're pretty pumped for that you think players are going to really uh, get excited about? So we have a roadmap of very exciting features coming in the next few months, mm -hmm. but I cannot talk much about them but two new things that we're adding uh, in this uh, in this update uh, first uh, we understand that the events are super popular mm -hmm. uh, so uh, we've we're adding a bunch of new missions that uh, you're gonna have to go through in the event so it, there's a lot more variety and also the prizes that uh, you get by doing the events are all going to be uh, changing and evolving and be uh, always very interesting with uh, to come with this new sets of missions uh, and we're also having a brand new system of runes uh, the runes basically are boosters that uh, you can use to boost a certain aspects of your kingdom for example nice. a booster could be doubling the or uh, doubling the decreasing the time of uh, <laughs> it takes to actually build your unit so it, it could go twice as fast for example 
and you know we have a bunch of rooms that you're going to be discovering while playing and uh, you're going to be able to got to get those rooms when uh, you do the events Sweet. so we're adding a bunch of new rewa rewards in the events mm -hmm. uh, and rooms you know there's other ways that you're going to be getting rooms such as like when you buy gems for example or in specialties that we do once in a while so mm -hmm. it, they, they are pretty exciting. Awesome. And guys, don't forget to find Siegefall on Facebook by going to facebook.com slash Siegefall. They're currently running a ton of really cool giveaways and contests and prizes and stuff like that. So make sure you go ahead and like that page. You can find the link here on the screen or in the description below. And so uh, for Alex, this is Ryan, and we're signing off with another episode of Game Loft Game Chats. All right. See ya. Later. Hey folks, thanks for watching, liking, and commenting on this video. If you want to see more Gameloft YouTube content, make sure you high five that sub button right there. And as always, don't forget to check out these two videos. We put them right there just for you. We'll see you next time.